Greetings. I went on a crazy Halloween kick this year, and I have at least five Halloween minis in the mix. So I've been trying to get them finished up so that I could be done with Halloween and move on to Christmas. So I'm sorry that all of my Halloween is coming after Halloween, but that's just the way I roll. I tend to start too many projects and fiddle around with each one, and then I get frustrated and I finish them all off, <laughs> usually after the holiday is over, but I'm really ready to move on to Christmas. So I'm gonna try to get all of my Halloween minis that are nearly done, done. And one of them started with the idea of this coffin box. So I made this coffin box and it's really kind of cute. By the way, um, this is the Recollections paper stack and I had purchased the eight by eight version of that. So that's what I have here. And I made this coffin box and it was cute. And I wanted to make a mini to go in it. So then I cut out the boards, I don't know what I was thinking to bind it like this with the with the just folded paper, but it is so darn skinny that it really it doesn't really fit the box very well. I guess I'm just gonna have to live with that. So um, that or I'm gonna have to make another mini. So and I don't know whether I want to do that. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. So here is my coffin mini. And this is a crocheted flower that I made and a little stick pin that I made. And I made a ton of flowers like this out of the recollections paper. I Sometimes I'll just sit down and spend an evening making flowers, lots and lots of them. So, um, and then I use them up in my minis. This um, was from the border strip, strip that came with the Recollections collection and this also came with the Recollections collection. I thought it was neat because it was almost like putting a cameo on there but it's that cool back and forth thing. I like that. And then of course this is just, um, this is a Say It in Crystals, um, one of those huge Prima collections that you can get and th those are fun because you can use them and use them and use them forever. And then I ended up binding it just with some paper and the back is actually decorated. This can't, I cut this out with my silhouette and these are some stamps. I had gotten all of the dollar stamps that Studio G had this year. So I have tons of those in here. And then that's a little sticker that came with the recollections and some of my little punched flowers with um, glitter glue and you know, a picture frame. So then you go inside and this I um, cut out with my silhouette and I decorated it with glitter pins and glitter glue and some bling and this is a bird that actually came with the collection and I just threw on this little journaling and a little bling here and then you come to this side and every other one is a pocket so I've got this um, little piece here is something I cut out with my silhouette um, this was the border strip the border strip my flowers and you pull it out and the border strip, my flowers. This is a Martha Stewart spider punch down here and just journaling. And again, this is the silhouette little thing from the border strip. I cut it out, used it there and that's a, and it's plain back there. You could put a picture back there too. Um, and then you turn the page and this is one of the recollections frames and I just glued it down and I put a tag behind it and just decorative paper. And then, um, I can't remember whether this, I got both the Recollections and the Martha Stewart um, acetate sticker things. So I don't know which one that came from, but I've got a ton of those throughout here. And just a journaling, and that just goes back there. And then um, again, one of the tag pockets, homemade flower. I punched these little, um, flower centers out of one of the strips and I know that came from the Martha Stewart but I just adhered it along the edge so that you can um, put a picture behind there um, and then you turn it over and there's a journaling there's a journaling area and um, one of those strips border strips stickers and a picture area And 
on this side we have um, we have a picture area, a journaling area, a border strip, one of my little punched flowers that I like to do. Those are fun. Um, this I cut out on my silhouette and I I kind of painted the edge around it with Lumiere and um, one of my flowers in a strip and then this is one of my tags that go in here. Just put a simple journaling area. And this was one of the border strips. I just cut out the one of the skulls in a border strip. Lots and lots of stickers in this one. Um, this is one of the border strips, also stickers. And I tucked some little purple bling in there and a journaling area and a picture area and a flower. A little sticker here border strip, border strip with bling, um, one of my flowers, two picture areas, and you turn it over, journaling area, but it lifts so you can put something behind it, and just a kitty sticker. And that's it. It's a pretty short mini, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> I can't decide whether I want to put it in the box or just make a different one where I bind it with rings because obviously if you bind it with rings it can get fatter and then it would justify this three inch deep box. I don't know. And of course the box is undecorated because I'm frustrated with it. So there you have it. All right, have a nice day.